In today's lesson, you will learn about the flat sign. The flat sign is before the note and will tell you to play the very next key to the left or play one half step lower. You already know the sharp sign, play one half step higher. Now the flat sign is the opposite, you will play one half step lower. The flat sign has the same rule as the sharp sign. The note that has the flat sign will stay flat for the rest of the measure. And after the bar line, you will need a new flat sign if you want that note to be flat. Otherwise, will be natural. Remember, natural is when you don't have a sharp or flat sign in a note. A flat means to play the key that is half a step lower, which means we're going to play the very next key to the left. A flat is a white key, so it's E. Also, C flat is going to be a white key. Do you remember the rule for sharps? We're going to have the same rule for flats. A flat carries through a measure, but not past the bar line. In a new measure, the flat must be written again, which means this one is going to be E flat. This one is still E flat because it is on the same measure. After you pass the bar line in a new measure, you need to write the flat sign again. Do you remember when you have an F then P means that you play forte and when you repeat you play piano? Over here you will have a B flat and then this B is still flat. When you play C, D, E, then you have a quarter rest. This quarter rest will help you to move your hand to the next C, which is treble C. In this piece, we have four measures and four counts in each measure. We have a repeat sign, and the first time we play forte, the second time we play piano. We're going to have flat signs on E. First, this is E flat. Then we have a flat sign on treble E. And then we have another flat sign on B. When you have a flat sign in front of a note, you will play the very next key to the left, whether black or white. Or the same thing, we're going to play half step lower. For example, if you have E, this is E flat. D, D flat. B, B flat. A, A flat. We have C, this one will be C flat or F, F flat. Finger one right hand is going to start to play on middle C and left hand finger one will play also on middle C on the third measure. Pay attention to the quarter rest that you need to count also. Also look at the notes that have the flat sign. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat soft. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. On the third measure, make sure that you play G with finger four over here. So you have C, B flat, G with finger four, and again B. And remember the flat sign rule, just like the sharp on measure three, 
that be flat that you have is gonna stay flat for the whole measure C B flat G still be flat and then C and C Keep practicing this week the flat sign and the flat sign rules. See you next time.